How's it going guys? Welcome to a JHR macro review. Now this is a series that I mentioned a while ago and a lot of people wanted me to do. So today we're going to be looking at a ruler and these are pretty much used very widely in schools, at the house and everything, but they're always used to measure things that are small to big. So let's take a really close look at this really close up and see the details and the lettering. So if we pinch and zoom real quick, we can start to focus down on these letters right here. If you notice, you can actually see the pitting in the lettering right there on the C. There's like a little tiny thing right there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see my finger moving there. Oh no, I can't even point to it. So it's that small. So you can see that right there. If we drag this up, this is actually the edge of the ruler. Kind of can see that. See how far we can go in. Now, it might not be the clearest in the world, but you can also see the edge of that. Oh man, you can see there's like a hair right there. That's crazy. I can't even see that, like with my eyes. I can't even notice it there. If we move down a little bit. Look, there's a little cut in that. Probably from the grain. Looks like right here, this is a number one. Everything looks so shiny close up. It does not look like that at all when it's uh, farther away. But you can see the reflectivity in everything. Yeah, you can really see. Let's try to focus in. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. There we go. So we saw the number two really up close. I know that looks scary. If we were to zoom in on that. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of like an ocean drop off. Like you're focused in on this, but like underneath it's like just an abyss. Let's see if we can go down to the inches. I really like the edge of this. That's so cool. Oh, you know what? If we zoom down a little bit, push that forward. Look at that. That is the middle piece that's inserted into the wood. That makes it to where when you move your pencil along or your pen it stays steady. Look at that. The reflection of the light against my fingertip is enough to highlight it. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh look, there's like a tiny little piece right there. Moving that with my my skin. I can't feel that at all. There is no feeling of me moving this because it's so small. For an idea of how small this is, let's go ahead and zoom out. Look at that. That is insane. Let's go ahead and focus back in here. So here's an inch, I believe. And then there's a centimeter over here. Or almost to the end of it, I think. Actually, it goes up to 28. I want to straighten that out a little bit. Oh, we're almost there. Oh no, it goes up to 30. There we are at the very end. see all of the uh, flakiness of the wood on the edges. It's kind of rounded off right there like it bumped into something. Where it says inch. Oh, what's that? 
Looks like something sticky got on here, like food. Who knows how long that's been on there. Which is strange, because I didn't even see that. At all. Like, let's zoom out. I didn't even notice that. Like, what kind of... It looks like gross, like, sticky candy or something. Let's zoom in on it. Look at that. What kind of weird stuff is that? That's pretty gross. And then we also have the groove that's in the center that moves along the, the entirety. But let's go ahead and flip it over. So this is the more cleaner portion of the ruler. It's flat. There's nothing on this side except the little tiny holes. You get a really good view of that middle piece though on this side. Look at that. There's quite a bit of imperfections on this. I think there's even a little pit right there if we zoom in. Yeah, look at that. And it like goes downward. And then up. I wonder if this got damaged or that's just how it is and I never noticed. Because it goes down. And then it goes back up into another thing as well. That's so weird. Huh. It's crazy. Like, even with how small this is, you can still see the reflection in it. When I think of mirrors, I usually think of them being big enough to capture, like, the human kind of, uh, you know, face or reflection. But when it's something this small, I don't usually think, oh, there's still a reflection there. But it still is reflecting the uh, other side or the same side of the wood of the ruler. That's crazy. If we look right here we can see that there is still some flaking from when this was drilled out or pushed out to make the little hole right here. I'm not sure what these holes are used for. What do you guys think they're used for? I think maybe they're used to hold this maybe in a binder or something. But yeah, very interesting product and uh, usually not when you're just looking at it from, you know, a normal perspective. But when you can zoom in on it and see all these little intricacies, it makes it a lot more interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I want to do a lot more in the future. And, uh, yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.